looks something like this guy right here. Actually, it yeah, it feels pretty sharp. Let's uh, let's just dig in. So here's what I've done. So this first line right here, we've got to come in um, an inch and an eighth is our finish. So I've set these caliper deals here at inch and an eighth, and we'll uh, we'll cut it. I don't even know what speed to run this thing. All I know is I don't want that rest to hit the to hit this deal, and I want to be close close as I can. All right, I'm going to start with we'll start with a thousand. All right, we got it, okay. Here we have our benchmarks here. Again, I haven't done this before, but it seems to make sense. So these lines are reference points that kind of correspond with the shape of the handle. So now, I guess in theory, uh, we could start back here at the end and then uh, start working these and connecting these these um, uh, rings here uh, to get our shape. So far, so good here. So I have the, I have the sh basic shape that I like. Uh, now's the, now's, now we're getting into deep water here. The, the, uh, how do we make it oval? Because as we know, a round handle is not as uh, comfortable and as pleasing as an oval handle. That's the trick. Please forgive the fan noise in the background. Uh, the, lathe makes a lot of dust. So what I don't know, so grain orientation, we've, this is what I'm not clear on. We've got our grain orientation running this way and we want the hammer head to sit like this, right? With the grain, so close enough. So we have to do an offset of a quarter inch because there's a quarter, inch and a half to inch and a quarter of the width of the handle, but I can't figure out which one uh, which way it would be? Would it be this way or would it be the other way? I think it would be across the grains. So, well, if we don't do it right, we'll get it right next time. So I'll mark that there. And I'll mark this here. I've got this set at a quarter of an inch. I am certainly not a pessimist, but I don't know how much faith. I <laughs> this is so delicate. I don't know how much faith I have in uh, in this actually working. <laughs> oh boy, that's, I mean, there's just almost not enough wood there. I'm gonna just go inside of that. Almost not enough wood there to, uh, to bite into. This is gonna be a tricky, tricky business here, I think. So I don't, I don't know how good of an idea this is, guys. So we, now what we've got, you can see here, is our handle is offset and the, Holmes there on the uh, YouTube video, this is what he did. But I don't, he didn't show how to know, I don't know how far to go, I guess when I get to the, to the middle point of or something. I don't even know what's gonna happen when I turn this thing on. I think I'm gonna turn, it, turn the speed way down. Let's just, uh, I'm gonna stand off to the side here. There's a good chance that we might be going to the hospital today. Okay, so that's, <laughs> That's 100 and 200 RPMs. Oh man, I don't know. I like the look of that. That's 800. I'll go down to seven, maybe 700. I think that's what he was using. Oh, I think it's important that we're going to need to go very slow on this process. I just don't know what to expect. I don't even know what tool to use. All right. Ooh.
You guys are not going to believe this, but I actually found that little tiny black set screw on the shop floor. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to go back to the Widowmaker. Now, had I, had I ha put a little Loctite 243 on there, I wouldn't have been crawling around on my hands and knees like an animal looking for it. In all honesty, I have, I have no idea if this is even going to work or how this is going to turn out, but I haven't, I haven't hurt myself yet. So that's a, that's a good start. So that actually worked. And you know, once I got past the initial terror of it flying off and hitting me in the face, I, um, it, it wasn't too bad. Now I, there's one thing that I'm definitely doing wrong. There must be a trick to this is to know how far to come in from each side. I just had to guess. And, and actually I can see right here, I, I went too far. There's a little bit, of, it's a little bit deep right there further than the other side, but overall it's reasonably consistent. Um, but if a guy could figure out exactly, if you could see a line or something, exactly where to stop, um, that would make a huge difference. So I guess that's about as far as we can go here. Um, I'll have, I can't go any smaller there. I'll, I'll hit the, I'll hit the deal. So we're going to have to hand, we'll hand carve that, but, um, but this is actually a beautiful handle. Uh, let's put a chamfer on it here. I guess no, we can't put a chamfer on it because it's we're just we're just out of room. I mean, I'm right up to the to the holders there. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go put it on the bench. Mm -hmm. 